All right guys, welcome back to another episode. We're currently hiding out in a little bit of a rock cave, waiting for the rain to die down. It's a little bit windy. And we're gonna be doing some fishing around the rocks. I've got a nice hot flask of coffee that I've just poured myself a cup and I left it outside here in the rain to do the intro. Uh, we're gonna have ourselves some coffee. As soon as that sun comes up a little bit more, we're gonna cook ourselves some breakfast. And of course, we're gonna have some casts. We're gonna be fishing around these rocks with some soft plastic paddle tails. See if we can pick up something nice and early in the morning. Mm. Not a bad cup of coffee when it's a little bit chilly, a little bit rainy, a little bit windy. Absolutely perfect way to start the day. So let's do this. Now one thing I wanted to tell you guys about that I saw the other morning. I came out fishing to, to film a video. It was a little bit of a fail. I didn't catch any fish, usual story. And uh, while I was fishing, the water was super rough. Right in front of me popped up this almost like a sea otter and it was swimming up and down the coast hunting in this rough rough water and i've just seen it again this morning it popped up right in front of me right over there i might have got it on camera i'm not too sure uh, you'll you'll be able to see in the footage i'm gonna roll it right now oh man did you see that it's like an otter Oh man! And uh, I'm also going to roll the footage from the other day, it was a little bit clearer. And you tell me, you let me know what it is. It's here in northern Spain, Galicia, super super far north. Strange, strange animal. Alright, let's smash this coffee and let's get a few casts. Oh, that wind and rain, stinging the face. Okay, so the rod we're using is a seven foot six ultra light. Well, it's probably about seven, seven foot four now because I kind of stood on the tip the other day and snapped off the top eye. So what I did is I just cut the rod a little bit further down. So now the second top eye is now the top eye, if that makes sense. We've got a, a Daiwa Crossfire 3000 reel. This thing is really, really, really cool. And the first lure we're gonna be tossing around is a little jig head with this tiny little soft plastic paddle tail that's got a little bit of like silver glittery in it with a white solid white top and a silvery see-through glittery underbelly so let's have a few casts why not all right let's get a little bit further down now it is low tide so i'm not too sure if that's going to affect the fishing anyway here we go first cast Looking good in the water. Let's let this one sink a little bit. So we've had a few casts, no take, uh, but that's all right, that's all right. The sun has come out just a little bit, so we have enough light. We're gonna cook up some breakfast now. I'm just re-tying up because if any of you have faced this issue and know the solution, please let me know. When you're fishing with ultralight line and uh, your leader gets caught in the top eye of the rod when casting and uh, continuously snaps off, what is the solution? Is it just to fish with thicker line? But um, I don't really wanna fish with thicker line, so it's kind of like uh, I'm not too sure what to do and if any of you know what that animal that I saw was please let me know in the comments and these are the paddle tails that I'm working they are easy shine at three inch I think that one is definitely upside down but let's see how he swims we've come around the corner a little bit just to get out of the wind trusty old little gas stove. This thing is awesome. Oh, every time, every time. Right, first things first, we got a little butter. I'm just going in. Let's use that as our little plate before people get crazy at me. And we are going directly in with some mushrooms.
That sun is just about to poke its head out from behind those clouds. Ah, oh, what a great feeling. So we've got our mushrooms on the cook over here. We've got an egg in there. We've got some salami. Ooh, a little bit of garlic. We cannot forget the garlic. It's all right. Oopsie. Let's put our bag over here. Maybe that'll block a bit of the wind. All right, so our bag blocking the wind a little bit. Now we got some bubbles going. That is looking much better. Have a go at all the mussels in this rock pool right next to us. Look at that, full of beautiful little mussels. This entire pool is full of them. Now, I must say I'm quite thankful to all of you guys because I'm getting a lot of good advice with regards to what baits to use around the rocks. And uh, the other day, I tried out a few of the baits that people have suggested. Baby crab, squid, sardine, you name it. And uh, not much luck, but I got a comment the other day saying that I should use mussels because that's the natural food that these green that live around the rocks like to eat. So I think one of these days we're going to have to come and do a little bit of a mussel catch and cook. Try and catch a fish with the mussels and then cook up some mussels. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're still getting a little bit too much wind. I suppose it is slow cooking the mushrooms, which is not a bad thing. Is it going to be stable there? Should be alright. So now, what I want to do, is I want to take this little piece of... Oh no! Oh no! My egg! My cheese! My cheese! Butter paper. Okay, well our cheese is definitely gonna have a little bit of a a rock salty flavor. Oh man, damn it. Now I know I'm gonna be judged a lot, but I'm gonna eat that cheese and I really don't care. It's a little bit of natural salty water from the ocean, maybe a bit of seagull crap, who knows, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna waste it. Anyway, let's get back to the cooking. So, this little bit of salami, we're going to break this up. Let's get this in there. Give it a little bit of a fry. Just like that. Now, we're going to crack this egg in. Oh, my egg cracked. Obviously, it cracked on the rocks. Okay. It's about time. There we go. Egg directly in. And this cheese is going on top the salty rock cheese rockford cheese all right bread roll going there now the tricky thing is going to be to try and get that that egg to cook and the cheese to melt because we don't have a lid and that wind is making it quite difficult But you know what guys, this is what it's all about. Getting outside, doing something different, and enjoying yourself. Whether we catch a fish or not, I couldn't care. If I do catch a fish, it's probably gonna be a damn stinker anyway. So let's enjoy ourselves and have some, some breakfast on the rock. There's my egg cooking in the background. Sun just poked out a little bit and then went back behind the clouds. It's windy. It was raining this morning. I'm a little bit wet. It's a little bit cold. But still an incredible morning. Wind barrier seems to be working pretty well. All right, we're getting a little bit of color around the edge there. It's cooking a bit. Cheese is not melted yet on top. Maybe if we take our bread roll and we make kind of like a a lid so I wonder if this will trap a little bit of the heat and 
enough to cook that egg. Man, we've dropped our cheese on the rock. Can't get much worse than that, so let's give it a go. I think we had a bite there. I think we definitely had a little bite. Okay, it is working, it is working. And no, we don't want to get salmonella, but we did have a little bite there. It got me quite excited. There, out of the way. Let's have a look and see how our egg is doing. Bread is looking good. Okay, that is absolutely perfect. See how it's come loose in the pan. It's exactly what I wanted. Oh yes, okay. We got some cheese pulls. Okay, put that on the rock. Just enough to say hello. Now this, I'm taking off because I want to toast the bread a little bit. This one's going to be tricky because it's got the cheese already melted on it. There we go. That's, uh, that's one way to do it. Okay. We're looking good, we're looking good, we're looking good. We are looking good. Now, the tricky part, to make the damn sandwich. This. Let's get all that good healthy butter. And then, that. All right, so a nice, tasty breakfast. If you take a look underneath there, you'll see all of the mushrooms, the pepperoni, ooh, the garlic. Now that looks tasty, but I've already dropped so many things that fell over into a rock pool during the thumbnail shoot. Mm, let's get into it. Oh man. Oh man. This thing's going to clog my arteries, but... Oh, a bit of garlic. Mm, 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 mm. Nice little piece of pepperoni there. Mm, mm, mm. Breakfast polished off. Bit of hot coffee to wash it down. And then it's time for some serious fishing. People say to me, Kevin, you never catch any fish. You only catch stinkers. Yeah. That's true. Today, that's gonna change. I've got the right attitude. Or we don't catch anything, who knows? Couldn't really care. Let's get fishing. So for those of you avid lure fishermen, jig fishermen, soft plastics, paddle tails, those sorts of things, what would you do in this situation? You'd let it sink and then your retrieval, how fast would you retrieve it? Because I've tried fast, I've tried slow. Would you give it little twitches? I'm trying to keep the tip of my rod down so that the lure stays deep. Still no luck with the fishing, but one thing that I wanted to show you guys, it is a local Galician delicacy, super expensive in the restaurants, and they're growing right over here on the rocks. They are called Percebes. 
and it's these these things right here they kind of look like like parrot beaks or octopus beaks and they're growing everywhere he has some right over here as well let's see if i can show you how they work so you kind of okay well that one popped off but so they they come off at the base you kind of get them like a whole clump of, of mushrooms and you kind of just steam them or boil them or however they cook them and uh, you hold on to that little beak and then you kind of stick your thumb underneath that little beak and there's like a tube I don't know if you can see it this tube over here has a thick outer skin that you kind of get your nail underneath pull it off and it leaves this kind of floppy soft orangey colored tube inside that you that you eat I don't know if you can kind of see that that uh, that color inside is a little bit pinky orangey really really strange thing really really expensive and tastes kind of just like salt water it tastes like the ocean so there you have it Pertebes. google it all right guys so i've had one or two more casts and nothing's going nothing's biting haven't had a sniff nothing on the lure for those of you that do a lot of uh, jig fishing and stuff like that let me know what i'm doing wrong maybe i'm i'm retrieving too quickly or maybe i'm not letting it sink or uh, who knows who knows but guys thanks so much for coming along with me on this little morning adventure hope you guys enjoyed it no fish but a nice little cook up outside and just to get some fresh air and enjoy being outside on the rocks guys if you like this sort of stuff i'm going to be doing it a lot so hit that subscribe button and join me on my future adventures if not just enjoy the video it's completely up to you guys Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next mission.